Have you ever wondered, what exactly is ovulation? It's a question that's crossed the minds of many, and today, we're going to delve into this fascinating aspect of the feminine cycle. Now, ovulation is a natural process that happens monthly in women of reproductive age. It's that special time in the menstrual cycle when one of the ovaries releases an egg. This egg then travels down the fallopian tube, where it waits to be potentially fertilized. It's a beautiful, delicate dance that our bodies perform each month, a testament to the intricate design of the female body. Yet, despite being such a crucial part of reproduction, ovulation is often misunderstood or overlooked. So let's pull back the curtain on this monthly miracle and shed some light on what ovulation actually is, how it works, and why it's so important. Ovulation, a key player in the feminine cycle, yet often shrouded in mystery. Scene script. Diving into the science, let's unravel the process of ovulation. Ovulation, in essence, is a ballet of hormones, a dance choreographed by our bodies to ensure the continuation of life. The main dancers in this performance are the pituitary gland and the ovaries, with several hormones playing crucial supporting roles. The first act of this ballet begins in the pituitary gland, a pea-sized organ situated at the base of the brain. The pituitary gland is like the conductor of an orchestra, signaling the start of the ovulation process by releasing two hormones, follicle-stimulating hormone, or FSH, and luteinizing hormone, or LH. FSH kickstarts the process by encouraging the ovaries to prepare a group of eggs for ovulation. These eggs, nestled in fluid-filled sacs known as follicles, begin to mature, but only the healthiest one, the lead dancer, will take center stage. As the eggs mature, the developing follicles release another hormone, estrogen. This hormone prompts the thickening of the uterus lining, preparing it for potential pregnancy. Estrogen levels rise and when they reach a certain threshold, it triggers a surge of the luteinizing hormone. This LH surge is the grand finale of the ballet. It prompts the most mature egg to burst from its follicle in the ovary and begin its journey down the fallopian tube. This dramatic exit, ladies and gentlemen, is ovulation. But the performance doesn't end there. The now empty follicle, known as the corpus luteum, starts to produce yet another hormone, progesterone. Progesterone helps maintain the thickened uterus lining, ready for the potential implantation of a fertilized egg. If no fertilization occurs, the levels of progesterone drop, the uterus lining sheds, and the menstrual cycle begins anew. It's truly fascinating how our bodies work in harmony to facilitate this process. This intricate dance of hormones, perfectly timed and coordinated, is what makes the miracle of life possible. And understanding this process is the first step in understanding our bodies and our fertility. Now, you might be wondering, how can I know when I'm ovulating? Well, my friends, let's delve into the fascinating world of ovulation spotting. It's not as daunting as it seems, I promise. Ovulation spotting involves observing the signs and symptoms your body exhibits when you're about to release an egg. Just like a detective looking for clues, you'll be on the lookout for certain telltale signals. One of the most common signs is a change in your cervical mucus. It's a bit like the Goldilocks story, not too thick, not too thin, but just right. When you're approaching ovulation, your cervical mucus often becomes clear and stretchy, similar to egg whites. This change is your body's natural way of facilitating the journey of sperm to the egg. Another signal can be a slight increase in your body temperature. This isn't a feverish, bed-bound type of temperature rise. It's a subtle shift, often less than half a degree Fahrenheit. You might not feel it, but a good old-fashioned thermometer should pick it up. This minor uptick often happens after ovulation, so it can be a sign that you've ovulated in the last day or so. Some women also experience mild pelvic pain or a twinge on one side of the lower abdomen. This is known as Mittelschmerz, a German word meaning middle pain. It's typically not cause for alarm, but rather another signpost on the road to ovulation. Remember, these signs can vary among women. Some might experience all of them. Some might notice just one or two, and others might not observe any at all. And that's okay. Everybody is unique, and each has its own way of signaling ovulation. Just like learning a new language, it might take some time to understand your body's ovulation signals. But with patience and observation, you'll start to recognize the patterns. Knowing your body and its unique signals is the first step in spotting ovulation. 
So keep observing, keep learning, and remember this journey is all about understanding and embracing your body's natural processes. Thankfully, we have a variety of tools to help us track ovulation. Indeed, the world of technology and science has given us numerous ways to gain insights into our bodies and understand our ovulation cycles better. One of the most common tools used for tracking ovulation is an ovulation predictor kit. These kits work by detecting the surge in luteinizing hormone, or LH, that occurs approximately one to two days before ovulation. Think of it as a weather forecast for your body. It gives you a heads up that ovulation is on its way. Moving on, fertility monitors are another significant tool that can help you track your ovulation. These devices are a bit more advanced than ovulation predictor kits. They not only detect the LH surge, but also monitor other hormones related to fertility. Some may even connect to your smartphone and provide detailed analysis of your cycle, making it easier for you to identify your most fertile days. Lastly, let's not forget about tracking basal body temperature, a method that has stood the test of time. It involves measuring your body temperature first thing every morning before any activity, including getting out of bed. A slight increase in temperature can indicate ovulation. While this method requires consistency and diligence, it can be a cost-effective way to understand your cycle better. Now it's important to remember that every woman is unique and what works best for one might not work as well for another. It's all about finding the right tool that fits into your lifestyle and makes you feel comfortable. Remember, tracking ovulation doesn't have to feel like a chore or something that adds stress to your life. Instead, it can be a window into understanding your body better and taking control of your fertility. With these tools, ovulation tracking can become a much easier task. Embrace the tools and technology available. And remember, every step you take towards understanding your body is a step towards empowerment. Understanding ovulation is especially crucial if you're planning to conceive. It's like getting to know your body on a deeper level, a level that's intertwined with the cycle of life itself. Now, you might be wondering, how does this knowledge increase the chances of conception? Well, let's start by remembering that ovulation is a sign of fertility. It's that special time of the month when your body is primed and ready for potential conception. When an egg is released from an ovary, it travels down the fallopian tube where it might meet a lucky sperm and voila, conception occurs. But here's the catch. This egg, it's a bit of a diva. It doesn't stick around for long. In fact, it only hangs out for about 12 to 24 hours. So if you're trying to conceive, it's important to know when this diva makes her grand entrance. Tracking your ovulation is like having a backstage pass. It allows you to know when the star is about to step onto the stage. By being in sync with your body's rhythm, you can increase your chances of meeting this diva at the right time. Now, ovulation doesn't just indicate fertility. It's also a barometer of your overall health. Regular ovulation is a sign that your hormones are in balance, your reproductive system is functioning as it should, and your body is in a happy, healthy state. So what we're saying here is, understanding your ovulation isn't just about baby making. It's about embracing your womanhood, about being in tune with your body, and about taking control of your health. It's about making informed decisions, whether you're planning a pregnancy or simply wanting to understand your body better. So, understanding and tracking ovulation can be your secret weapon in the journey to parenthood. It's like having a roadmap to your fertility, a guide to your body's rhythm. And with that knowledge, you can navigate the journey with confidence and grace. So, we've journeyed through the fascinating world of ovulation. In this enlightening voyage, we've unraveled the mystery of ovulation, delving into the amazing science that powers this monthly cycle. We've discovered that ovulation is not just a biological process, but a vital part of a woman's reproductive health. We've explored how ovulation works, how an egg is released from the ovaries in preparation for fertilization, and the signs that indicate this process is underway. We've learned that with careful observation and the right tools, we can become attuned to our bodies and spot when ovulation is occurring. We've also touched on the importance of understanding this process, not just for those trying to conceive, but for all women who want to better understand their bodies. And we've seen how technology can aid us in tracking ovulation, making this journey a little bit less mysterious. Remember, every woman's ovulation journey is unique, 
embrace yours. Did you find this video helpful? If you've learned something new about your body and the incredible process of ovulation, why not give this video a like? It really does help us to know what content is valuable to you. And if you know someone else who might benefit from this information, a friend, a family member, or even a colleague, why not share this video with them? The more we share our knowledge, the more we can all understand about our bodies and the better we can take care of our reproductive health. Remember, sharing is caring. So let's spread the knowledge and help everyone embark on their own unique ovulation journey. Stay tuned for more informative content and as always, take care of your health.